Not much of an intro right there, but it works. Hi everyone, For All Fear, and uh, my main thing I'm going to do right now is talk about the breast thing. And we haven't been doing a lot of stuff recently because someone refuses to email me his videos so I can compile them together in some sort of crazy craziness that somehow become videos. <clears throat> but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. And today I'm going to talk about why Brass Fang. Why is the Brass Fang here? In order to do that, we're going to go back to the very beginning. My very first Xbox Live account was called Centaur M. And I'll put the name over there somewhere. Edit me, figure it out. And um, <clears throat> later on, when Xbox 360 came out, and I couldn't recover my uh, my Xbox Live account, Centaur M, I made another one and called it uh, called it Farolf because Liwa was taken. Damn it! So imagine that. Imagine if I was named Liwa instead of Farolf. Anyways, so I tried that. It didn't work. I tried Farolf. It did work. Wonderfully, actually. So there I was, little me Farolf, and. I since a young age, I always loved the idea of making videos. And my main inspiration go to two people. Actually, three, now that I think about it. <clears throat> the two people, three people, sorry, the script is wrong now. There is no script. Ignore what I just said. The three people are Quackjag, KA Girl, and um, RVB Shard. Um, as much as I'd like to give credit to uh, KA Girl I can't find any evidence of her online at any point in time ever but um, she was the main inspiration, Quackjack was the main inspiration, his stuff's still online but he hasn't uploaded in over a year so he's not doing things anymore and I don't even know about RVB Shard so I, I guess if I can find something I'll put it in put it over there over there but I used to watch those guys all the time and really inspired me to try to make my own videos. So I bought the crappiest capture card I could find for like $20. And it was, um, God, what was the brand? I don't remember the brand, but the name of the capture card was One Touch. And it literally had a button on it that you would press to start recording. And sadly, the highest definition it had was 480. Yeah. And I actually... And I think right here, I'm going to post a, uh, a link to my second uh, YouTube account, Farolf Produ Far Productions. I came up with that idea thanks to Quackjag when we talked about what does a, what does a production name require. Because he made his, you know, Jag. But, um, so, the first account I had was Golem Maker because I just got done reading Golem the Gears by Piers Anthony and was really into the artificial construct version of of mythology at the time. So with Golem Maker I started making videos, I recorded Left 4 Dead with my friends, I did a lot of Red Dead Redemption, a lot of Halo Reach and it was fun. That was a good way to spend my time after high school after I finished my homework that I didn't do. And um, yeah. It was a great. Got a got a decent amount of subscribers there. But uh, after I moved from my high school to my next high school, it sort of went downhill. Um, my best friends at the time were Joey00777 and Hot Rod 1990, 1992, 3? Uh, 19 something. Hot Rod 93, that was it. And, uh,. We did a lot of things together, but me and Hot Rod had a falling out, and Joey and I are still friends, but we don't do a lot of things anymore. So, sucks. Joey, you're watching this. Get in contact, man. Let's hang out. Anyways, so after the falling out, I didn't make movies as much until the Halo Reach update came, where they came up with new um, what's it called? What's it called? Invasion. That's what's called new invasion maps that uh, break out with the snowy land. That sucked. Anyways, so they came out with that, and that's where I met my new uh, 
My new best bud at the time, uh, Stuart Nader, or Stuart Bain. We're still friends, sometimes. Talk on Steam. You would message me back. Anyways. <clears throat> so, Stuart Nader and I, I made a lot of videos together over there on the Golden Maker channel. Not, not Golden Maker, Far Off Productions. And since then, since then, for like the next three years, we did a lot of stuff. Now, I never got big, but I did get uh, sponsored before before it was easy to get sponsored. Like, when I made this new channel, uh, Bear Boo, I was able to get sponsored just by uploading one video and be like, Hey, hey, can I have monetiz mon monetiz monetizations? Can I have monetizations? Sure. Cool. I guess I'm sponsored. Yeah. Kick ass. But, yeah, so I got sponsored before that became easy, which is the most exciting thing in the world to me. And then I joined the military. That was fun, I guess. And after I joined the military, everything sort of went to hell. And uh, me and my friends stopped talking so much. Never heard from Joey again. Never heard from Stuart either. Uh, the only friends I really kept in contact with were my uh, World of Warcraft friends. And when I got out of basic training, I went to my uh, MIT in Fort Lee, Virginia. That was fun. And... Um, that was, that was an event. But needless to say, I didn't make the cut. I, uh, I had three chances to graduate, to graduate MIT, and I failed them all, each one, by one question. It's the pressure got to me, and I wasn't sure if it was really what I wanted to do. So, after I got out of the military, I think it was October twenty eighth, was when I was my last day. And I flew home just to find out that my friend has taken my uh, my guild from me. I was like, "What the fuck?" So they took my World of Warcraft guild from me, and it was the Brass Fang on the Silverhand. So then I moved to um, what's this new new realm? It's like one of the big role playing ones, Moonguard. That's what it is. I went to Moonguard, and. Uh, and started the brass ring there, and it became a thing for a little bit. I really enjoyed it. But then I got in contact with Gob Zombie again. We started talking a lot, and discovered that he actually really enjoyed my old videos. So I thought, why not, man? We've been best friends since high school. Well, not the best of friends. There was a long time where we didn't talk to each other. Yeah. It was just. I don't like to think it was intentional, we just sort of had other things to do. Anyway, so we became friends again, and we started this new wrestling channel. And I actually started on my old, on my personal YouTube account, uh, Faro Fonkata, or Adonica. I really like the last name, but it's not my real last name. Okay, get off my back. But... <clears throat> After uploading videos there for a while, I thought it would be a smart idea to keep my uh, business YouTube and my personal YouTube separated. So then I made a new one called a Berbua from the Irish phrase Berbua Gutsmanot, which means take a victory and a blessing. And at the end of most of my videos, I say, I say Berbua Gutsmanot. Or just Berbua, because Berbua means to seize victory. How bad is that? Anyways. So and that's why the Brass Fang is here right now, and I chose the name of Brass Fang off my guild. Because I feel like the Brass Fang could be more than just one person. I wanted Brass Fang to be a, co a collaboration of people. Me, Gob, maybe we'll meet some other people with similar interests who will join us. Stuff like that. I wanted it to be a company, not a person. That's why I didn't go with my own name. I chose a name that could represent all of us. And that is how the Brass Fang reached the point where it is so far. Um, I'm going to try to upload more videos now that I'm working date times at my uh, at my restaurant. And the working date times will leave me more time at night to edit and record. So that's my plan. So those are my plans. And I spend a lot of my time, like, just back there, editing. That is a base I made for an upcoming short film that I'm hoping to work on with Gob. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be like just a short series of random encounters. Jokes we think of at the time. 
Still like that. Hopefully it become big. We'll see. It's been a while since I've seen a World of... <laughs> fucking World of Warcraft. A uh, fucking Halo Machinima that wasn't done by Rooster Teeth. And... I guess that's about it for now. That's why we call ourselves a Brass Fang. That's our, how we started. And as far as I can tell, we're not going to stop. Now, some things are coming up where we won't be able to record as much, but that's going to happen in June. And I think it's going to happen in late June. So I'm going to try to upload more videos, hopefully at least two a week. But until I start getting enough things to start getting paid through this, I can't really justify spending all my time making videos. Which sucks. I would love to do that. Anyways, the guy isn't available right now. He's kind of at work. It's late on a Monday evening. Should be getting back any time now. Hopefully. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed learning about where the brass man came from. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I think the next video is going to be a Halo 1 that Gob and I recorded. Now that he might have figured it out. If not, I'll see what I can do. Anyways, this has been Farl. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bitterbua, Augusta Banat.